All right, all right. If you guys have not been paying attention, I think we have a bull run here, guys. I think we have the old Bitcoin bull run underway. So I don't know what you've been doing. If you've been out sleeping in the shed, out at the bars, chasing women, just getting in trouble. Anyway, here's what's been happening. Early week in February, kind of went up a little bit. Remember we had that stupid ETF stuff where it was uh, basically the old adage, buy the rumor, sell the news. You would have made some money short term. Boom, Bitcoin kind of recorrected its itself down from 48K. It hit 48,000 right the day when, they, when the SEC, wink, wink, sent out the old fake tweet, wink, wink, for their, for their good old boys to get their uh, bids in, right? Come on, it's, come on. It's a big club and we ain't in it. So I don't know why they just don't be honest and say, yeah, we did it. What are you going to do? <laughs> right? Anyway, went down right after it came out, after they approved the ETF miraculously, amazingly, magically, the next day and then of course then bitcoin tanked back down not tanked but went down to 40 42,000 and kind of just has been hovering about there and then last week february hits and uh we kind of just kind of do it old bitcoin ban always says you can go sideways and do nothing at all right oh it went down all right went down then we had a little hit look at the green spike here the green volume is always a good sign but look at that we had a green volume it went up but then boom came back down with lots of red selling. I don't even really know what that means. I just look at this volume. If anyone starts talking to you about candles and uh, trend line analysis, run. <laughs> Nobody knows what the heck they're talking about. It's all just made up voodoo magic. All right. Uh, where are we at now? So let's see, right about here, this was about uh, the 7th. And it was, yeah, I remember seeing this. I was sitting here, it was in the afternoon, and boom, you get this huge volume spike. And look at that. Then we start the old ball run. Look at that. All the way up from 42 schmackaroos up until, look at that, 48. And now we're kind of in here right now. This is the 10th. Yeah, so yesterday and today have been the days. It kind of, look at that. It kind of went there. Kind of hovered this afternoon. And then it always does it on the freaking weekends. You notice that? And it just annoys me. There's something going on. There's obviously some automated software that triggers this stuff. I don't know. I, I like the. Look at the patterns over time. It seems to be always on a Saturday that this stuff kind of goes up. I'm like, I've been watching this. It just seems like Saturday afternoon. I don't know if this pro, if it's uh, programmed or there's something to trigger it every Saturday or some guy, some whale is doing some manipulation. You never know. It just seems to be always on a Saturday. So anyway, now we're uh, kind of humping over to Sunday here. And we broke 48,000. We're at 48.3. If I were to go to Fidelity and buy Bitcoin, they'd probably make me buy it at 49,000. They always pat it because they want to get their piece of the pie, which is fine. But never buy it when it's going up like that. That's my lesson. If it's dropping, then you kind of buy in because you know you're going to get a, a lower price, lower price. You know, it's like a falling knife, but you got to be careful there. Dollar cost averaging if you want. I don't know. It's your money. Do what you want with it. Only entertainment, man. If you want to lose it all, go ahead. Anyway, we're kind of hitting right here. We're kind of holding. It was at 40, uh, about 47. See this right here? It was hovering there all day. And then now just now about, yeah, right before 11 p.m. Eastern time. That's 2,300 hours for you government military folks. 2,300 hours. We had a nice little volume spike and it made it jump over that 48,000 magical imaginary i don't know what it is that hurdle so we're, we're kind of holding here 48.3 man i don't know what's going to happen tomorrow sunday no one can buy etfs or anything but the ETFs. that's all right that's one thing i hate about these stupid etfs is that you can only trade them during normal trading times whereas bitcoin's awesome you can buy freaking bitcoin whenever you know what i mean uh sometimes on the exchanges on these uh um these uh, brokerage houses that you can buy bitcoin and just ethereum is most of the time they're down in maintenance so you you have a lot of access to when you can buy it, but they most time they say well we're not gonna let you trade now for six hours because we're doing stuff you're like give me a break so when you're doing etfs very limited and when you can buy and all that crap when you're doing bitcoin through uh, vanguard and all these other places a little more freedom but you still don't own the coins not your keys not your coins and they may be down for maintenance or just not trading at the time uh, where you buy your coins direct through Kraken. I don't suggest Coinbase. Don't use Coinbase. Use Kraken, Gemini. Use another exchange. Uh, and then you can buy whenever. You know, do your KYC information so you can buy this crap, get your money, have a, have a bank account linked. Have a, have a unique bank account link. Nothing tied to your money, money, money. 
make it a new account. Use, I don't know, Chase or something. I don't know, or Wells Fargo. Set up a new account with just a couple bucks in it to establish the account. You don't want that account tied to your real money where someone can hack in and just empty you dry. You got to watch it out there. Scams and schemes and hacks are prevalent. It's just everywhere you look. You can't, you can't swing like a kitty cat without getting whacked with a scam these days. So my suggestion is go to uh, one of these exchanges, link your account. You, Coinbase makes it very difficult to link accounts. I don't know why. Just be careful. They're, they don't know what they're doing. So again, their money now is to get, uh, is, is coming from the exchanges, from the ETFs, because people like Grayscale now will move their Bitcoin transaction stuff down through Coinbase, and then Coinbase will break in lots of fees. They don't care now about the little people that made them big. So that's just the way it goes. Anyway, that's where I got a little Bitcoin bull run running, happening. Uh, what time is it now? I have no idea. It's about 11.30. We're still on a Saturday evening going into Sunday. Dimanche is coming up. And uh, we'll see if this holds above 30. Uh, 30. I'm not stuck on the 30s, man. We're at 48. Will this thing go to 120,000? Who knows? Man, I don't know. We'll see what happens. Uh, that's all I got. Just wanted to point this out in case you're all asleep or drunk or in jail. You never know. Um, you never know who's watching, right? All right. Go forth to create things. Let me know what you're doing. Are you buying ETFs? What do you think of them? Are you buying uh, Bitcoin? Or what are you doing? Are you buying these altco altcoins? Don't fall for that alt. Um, I can't even say it anymore. Alt. Alt. Don't fall for these altcoins. Don't fall into that trap, man. Because you want to be able to unload those things quick. And don't be in some of these one-off exchanges where you can't get your money. Or you have to jump through 50 hoops and pay thousands in fees. It's ridiculous. Or just, just man, Bitcoin for the win, right? And that is not financial advice. If you listen to anybody on YouTube... That's your problem. You should not be. Just do it for entertainment. Uh, otherwise, if you listen to Jim Cramer, you'll go completely broke. But if you do the opposite of Jim Cramer on that stupid money show, you'll be probably wealthy. And they've done a whole thing on that. Anyway, enough of that. Just babbling on. We have a Bitcoin run. And again, we had a spike right before 11 p.m., 2300 hours Eastern time, which kicked it over 48K. Pretty exciting times. Yeah, I'm out. That's all I got. <laughs>